A professor of education management, Steve Oyebadi, has faulted the federal government's plan to increase basic education funding to 3% in the 2022 uh, budget, saying it is still inadequate. Professor Oyebadi said this at a training for education secretaries in Lagos, organized by the Human Development Initiatives. Plus TV Africa correspondent Ngozika Ohochesi tells us more. The state of Nigeria's education system still leaves much to be desired. Over the years, analysts have lamented the growth on the funding of the sector, as well as the rate of out-of-school children, which has increased as a result of insecurity. These issues took center stage at this training workshop. Those funding you are looking at on papers don't get to the child in the classroom. How much of education funding gets to the child in the class? It's, it's, it's marvelous. The child in class is not touched. It's not even there. The, Nigeria has the largest uh, population of out-of-school children. So what are they doing on the streets? So who is supposed to be in charge? So is education really funded? If at national level, we have not gone beyond 7% 7, 7 of national budget voted for education for the last 40 years, things are really wrong. What we can do to keep our children in school, first you mentioned it security to be in place because the way it is now it's um, some of the hindering factors for students not to be in school then governments to put in more money more funds into education in terms i know local state is trying but they still have to do more they also prefer solutions to other issues affecting basic education in nigeria much as uh, we have advocated for improved security I think the time has come for citizens to begin to take, uh, you know, personal measures, um, particularly state governments. You know, uh, I believe that the state governments can uh, do a lot around equipping their, uh, their, their state apparatus. Um, apart from supporting the police and all the other, you know, paraphernalia, they can also create security watch groups that would help to assist to secure at least for now, um, government-owned schools in each state. The executive secretaries who were engaged in health management and strategic planning share their optimism. Even the little I've heard, I've started thinking of how to imbibe it into, in, even in my IG, I mean the secretariat, with my staff, early morning exercise, light ones that will help every one of us. The Minister of Education, Adamo Adamo, had said the Buhari's administration was committed to ensure that these interventions have long-lasting dividends towards the empowerment and enlightenment of the Nigerian child. However, these experts beg to differ. For Plus TV Africa, Ngozika Ohai Chesi. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.